in this week's study of the Global Self-Defense System online training course, the principle that we are talking about is principle two, which is to be proactive. The opposite of being proactive is being reactive. And when I think about that, I often think about the martial arts videos of Bruce Lee's interviews when he was talking about how is the glass half full or is the glass half empty, referring to positivity and negativity. So being proactive, you are wanting to have a paradigm shift if needed to choose your response in the positive. Words and tools can shape your life. Being in the martial arts industry and running a martial arts school for decades, I did not allow my students to use reactive words. In my dojos, I always had a sign that said can't with a slash through it, not to do it. The consequence of saying that word can't they had to do 25 push-ups. Now, of course, push-ups are good for you, but it was also a consequence to help them to program their mind to choose positive words like I can, I will. Um, another word that I did not allow to use is the word if. If is questionable. If does not have a solid end result if is in limbo if has way too many possibilities instead of the word if i asked them to choose the word when when i keep my guards up you know when i throw my kicks when i bend my knee when I come to class, when I test for my belt, all the different scenarios and circumstances to use the word when versus the same if. thing is true in business. You cannot be iffy in business. You need to be very specific, have very specific goals when you show up to work, when you're task oriented, when you speak with clients, when you hit your deadline, when you get ahead, you know, when is glass half full approach. And when you think about your responsibility in your approach, the word response is in there. So choose your responses in the positive. The glass is half full. And you don't want to be reactive when you are responding to somebody, whether it is a non-verbal reactive or it is a verbal reactive or as an action of being think reactive. about self-defense training, it is never if you are attacked. If I'm attacked, then I'll think about training. You need to prepare yourself for when that happens. Again, whether it is a, a verbal attack, whether it is a physical attack, how are you going to respond? Are you physically prepared with the mindset, the skill set, the knowledge, and the wisdom to help you achieve success to survive, defend, counterattack, and win? That's why habit number two, being proactive, is so wildly important. You want to have the skill sets that you need, not if you were punched in the face or if someone you know brandished a, a knife at you or a firearm, or if someone tried to pull you away, or if someone yelled at you, or if someone bumped into your car. It's when these things happen. Now, I love the saying, fail to plan, then plan to fail. Being proactive is putting systems and things in place to help you with a successful outcome. You do not get to choose the weather, the time of day, 
uh, your environment in any type of scenario or circumstance, whether a wolf wants to attack you. So you just need to be prepared for any type of situation. And that's why I offer online training. Online training will allow you to train in the comfort of your home or your workout space. It will also allow you the time to study and to do your due diligence in your homework so that you can be prepared mentally. You must always train your mind mentally and go through those dynamic visualization exercises. We don't ever want anything bad to happen to us or our loved ones or our children ever. But we're a fool if we do not prepare ourselves with an arsenal of knowledge and how to use that knowledge and be all the more wise. So being proactive is wildly important. You need to be able to have a healthy, strong, physical body. And when you do not have a healthy, strong, and physical body, then what is it that you do have? What are your resources? What can you rely on and depend upon and put those things in place? So being positive in your approach, the glass is half full. You don't need to be in fear or afraid of anything happening to you when you are prepared. That gives you confidence and it should give you peace of mind and security knowing that you have things in place. You never know what is around the corner and you need to be able to have a mindset of those possibilities not if something bad's gonna happen, but when something is going to happen. I know that you're hearing more and more these days about things that are happening that aren't comfortable to listen to. And we just can't ignore those things. We need to listen to the details and we need to understand um, why these things are happening, what systems were in place that allowed the plot to move forward you do not want the evil plot to move forward. You want to have something in place to help yourself with a survive, defend, counterattack, and win scenario. So the glass is half full and brings peace of mind and security knowing that you have skill sets and systems in place. If you have not already subscribed to my online training, please do so. The website is masternolte.com. With that subscription, you will receive a curriculum every single week. In that curriculum, for example, you're going to be able to learn of the skill sets because they are, the videos are going to be posted on a weekly basis. So you have new content loaded every single week. I also share with you the action of the principal the principle of the action. Um, I talk about and I break down that principle in the videos as well as the video helpmates. I talk about even the spiritual aspect of the philosophy and the reason why we are training as well as the leadership topic. And right now we're doing a study course on the seven habits of highly effective people. And you're getting in right at a perfect time because we are in week two. I give you homework assignments and I share with you the videos that are posted for the week and also encourage you to share your training with me. And so if you haven't already done so, please do so. It's wildly important for you to train, be proactive. The website again is masternolte.com. You want to be an online subscriber to the Global Self-Defense System, which I created from all of my decades of training and mastery of self-defense. I look forward to seeing you and learning of your progress and supporting you and always keep your guards up and keep safe America.